back with another famous movie dresses haul. These five dresses that I have today are the most intricate, most expensive ones yet. Some of them I waited months for because they're all handmade. We're saving the most expensive and the one that I have personally wanted to own my entire life for last. This first movie is honestly part of what inspired this entire series. I actually saw some remakes of the dresses from this movie on TikTok. Any guesses? <laughs> Cruella. Now there have been a few different versions of Cruella over the years. Anita, darling. Anita, darling. Anita, darling. My darling. I think Emma Stone just nailed this role and the costumes in this movie, oh my goodness. So I went on a hunt for the iconic red dress from the movie, but then I thought to myself like, this is a cool dress, but do I really wanna pay that much for a dress that I'm gonna wear like, never. <laughs> so I found something a little more wearable, I guess you could say. Look at it. It's so majestic. I mean, technically, I think it's a coat, but it's like a full length moment. So I ended up paying $344 for this. So they had me send in my exact measurements. Number five just really made me laugh, the wording of it. The translation got a little weird there, but <laughs> it took a couple months to get here. Hopefully it's worth it. It came from Ukraine. Pants, gloves, shirt, jacket. Is this, what? Are there multiple pieces to this? Oh, there are, hold on. Stop! <laughs> I'm literally gonna wear these all winter. Oh my gosh, it's the whole outfit. This is amazing. It's not real leather or fur, by the way. Okay, we need to put this on right now. Oh, this is already so cute. I love these pants. They're so well made, even like the little button on the pants. The top is so cute. I feel like I need better shoes for this. Much better. I mean, we all know Cruella would wear red bottoms. <laughs> I just realized this is just like a white faux fur and then I think they drew the spots on, which is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is the most sinister hood. I have a family dinner at Red Robin tonight. Do you dare me to show up like this? <laughs> it's so cool. It's so long. Someone sees me from this side and they're like, oh, what a beautiful coat and then Bam! <laughs> okay, just for fun, I got one more thing. Boop, doop, be doop. <laughs> this is adorable. I don't ever want to take it off. I got so excited, I forgot to put the gloves on. Okay, this next one was actually the hardest to find. Once I had the idea in my head though, it was firmly planted. I really wish this one would have been here for Halloween. My 80s and 90s babies friends will know. Princess Bride. <laughs> it's Buttercup's red dress. So my thought was like, I could wear this for Halloween and then Tyler could be Wesley and then Leo could be a rodent of unusual size. So maybe next year. It was $242. Also, I love the description. <laughs> Princess Buttercup red dress with pockets. Oh, it's so simple, but it's so cute. Where are the pockets? There they are. The poofy sleeves. Oh, and they even like lace up at the wrists. Oh, this is so cute. This is gonna be precious for Halloween next year though. And when you see it, You'll already know. Okay, I've got some really good dresses coming up, but before we do that, a quick word from today's sponsor. Native! I switched over to Native deodorant about a year ago. This is the one that I've been using for like ever. Ah, uh, <laughs> I just, I wanted to show you that I actually use it, but. I'm gonna show you the pretty new ones. The reason that I switched over is because they are aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free. But the best part is when you're looking at like the little ingredient list on the back of them, it's stuff that you'd recognize like coconut oil and shea butter. Not to mention they smell absolutely amazing. My favorites are cherry and vanilla macaroon, eucalyptus mint, but my go-to everyday one is the lavender and rose. They also just launched a festive line of holiday scents like sugar cookie, candy cane, or fresh mistletoe. You stay feeling and smelling fresh even after a rigorous workout or just like all day of moving around. They've got body wash, toothpaste, and normally three deodorants are $36. But if you use the link at the top of the description and my code HOPESCOPE, you'll get them for $24. That's 33% off with code HOPESCOPE. And you can also get 20% off of any of the body washes or toothpaste. Thanks, Native. Let's get back to the dresses. All right, I've done a Harry Potter dress before, but I have another one. This one was $390. $95. It is Flor de Liqueur's school uniform and the pictures that this seller had. The dress just looks immaculate. I'm just set for Halloween costumes for the next like 10 years. Ooh, they put candy in it. What are these? Rolling rainbows and a little note. Dead. Well, and that's just like a total little freebie with the little school crest on it. I'll put my candy in it. 
Okay, here we go. It's beautiful. The craftsmanship that has gone into these outfits. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to just run to Universal Studios. Oh, this is so cute. I think this is definitely the best fitting one so far. It's like super fitted at the waist. The little, yo, nope. Oh my gosh. Every time I put one on, it just becomes my favorite. Well, bag. And then there's one more thing. I couldn't find it on Etsy though, but I found it on fun.com. Oh. Oh, it's perfect. Whoa, it's like Harry Potter brand. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> it's official. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I'm taking out one of these costumes. It's impossible to be sad in a costume. What do you think? How accurate is it to um, the movie? Help, we're almost a million subscribers. Subscribe if you haven't already for a chance to win a Peloton or a $1,000 shopping spree if we can do it by the end of the year. We only have 15 days and we're uh, a little behind schedule, so. Help! All right, I teased this dress in my last movie dresses intro and I feel kind of bad about it because I didn't actually have it in that video, but I do now. <laughs> it's from Labyrinth <laughs> and it's Sarah's ball gown. See this one, I feel like I need to put it on and then go back to unclaimed baggage and take a picture with Hoggle the puppet. <laughs> This was $239. I also came across this TikTok the other day. Apparently there is a traveling Jim Henson museum that has like all of the costumes and props and stuff from this movie. <laughs> okay, we've got a little hoop skirt thing. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is everything I hoped it would be. It even has that like iridescent sheen to it. I'm not disappointed. A lot of fabric and detail went into this. Like the lace underneath. Okay, the top looks a little goofy because I don't have it corseted up all the way. I don't know if I did it wrong or what, but I totally ran out of string. It's not on as good as it could be, but like, look at this. There definitely are some like cheap Halloween costume versions of this, but they don't have like any detail on them. Oh, wow. Oh, this one, $4,500. Oh, stop. Did somebody actually get married in this? They kind of lost some volume in the sleeves, but like the idea is there for sure. Last, but certainly not least. This is the most expensive thing, but I'm not kidding when I said I have always wanted this. These were my favorite movies growing up. They still are Lord of the Rings. And of course Arwen was my favorite. I mean, look at her. I just wanted to be an elf so bad. So when I saw this dress listed, even though it was almost $500, I knew I needed it. She even has her own little custom box. That's fancy. Okay, I'm actually maybe gonna cry about this one. <laughs> I like how <laughs> I already match it. Oh, we've got the sewn in cup pad, so I don't even have to wear a bra with it. And it's gonna be so comfy. I can already tell. It's like wearing a giant blanket snuggie. But the detail, these sleeves, this is stunning. Tyler, could you maybe help me lace it? Lace it? Yeah. Oh, get you a boy who will lace your dresses for you. Well, you could be Aragon for Halloween someday. Who well, could Leo be? A orc? <laughs> be an ent? You don't know what I'm talking about. He could be Gimli. <laughs> Gimli, get it? I did it. No, oh, that's a pretty good job, actually. Wait, do you know where the Kim wig is? Oh, and then I have one other thing that I got. Look at it. Oh. Um, I got this one on Etsy as well. I'm not actually sure if it's like handmade or if it's just kind of a costumey piece, but either way. Cute. Oh, yes. I found it. <laughs> I look freaking creepy. You look so weird in wigs. I look like I'm from, uh, like I belong rock in band. like a rock band from the <laughs> 80s. What can I have a turn? <laughs> no! I actually like this wig better uh, for this than I did Kim, so. Um, I feel like I need ears. That's what would complete this look. We can pretend. Also, there's a video on the internet of Liv Tyler going through her attic 
And she still has a whole bunch of stuff from the movie. And I thought you might want to come up and see my attic with me. I have so much memorabilia stuff up here. We have an Arwen Barbie doll. That's me. That's crazy. I was a Barbie. This, I think, is something very special. This is my sword from The Lord of the Rings, which was a gift to me from Peter Jackson. It was really cute. I always wonder what happens to, like, most props and costumes and stuff for movies. Like, do the actors all keep them? Is there a giant warehouse somewhere that I can go see? If I find it, I'll take you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I picked out some other videos that I thought you might enjoy down below. If you haven't seen the other other movie dress videos. I highly recommend those. Until next time. Wait, I almost forgot. Say bye, YouTube.